Hey guys, and today I bring you to this bunker. It is a Cold War bunker. It's a ROC post. Uh, ROC is Royal Observer Corps. This bunker would have been used in the Cold War in case of nuclear bombs. Uh, I'll put all the um, details in the description because it's too long for me to um, speak. Basically, let me go over a few things. Here is one of the uh, ventilation shafts that go down into the bunker. And yes, I am going to go down inside it. I'm not going to bother dropping my phone down there. And here we have... This is where a uh, thing called a fixed survey meter would have been. And basically underneath it would have been, it would have came up and detected the amount of radiation that would have been up here if a bomb exploded. Here we have another air vent. This one goes to the toilet, which is downstairs. On here, there would have been a cylinder, and on that cylinder would have been a thing called a ground zero indicator. And that basically would have been a pinhole camera technique. And if there was a bomb, the heat from the bomb would burn through the hole onto three graph papers. And after the explosion, someone would come up and change the uh, graphs, or cassettes as they were called. And then by that graph paper, on the burn mark, they could tell how the height and power of the bomb was, and which direction it was, and the power, etc, etc. And somewhere down here, I, do not, I can't see where, because it's overgrown. There should be a... Uh, the bomb power indicator somewhere. But it's all hidden in the tall grass, so... I don't know where that is. It's around there somewhere, it's just buried. So fixed survey meter for radiation, we would have came out. Ventilation shaft. Another ventilation shaft. And the ground zero indicator. So now it's time to adventure downwards. Which is going to be interesting. Alright guys, so now it's time to adventure down. Uh, yeah, it's a long drop. But yeah, I'll explain some things at the bottom, so I'll see you when we get to the bottom. Come here just in case. So let's stand at the top, make sure the hatch doesn't close. It shouldn't anyway, because it's locked. Right guys, so here I am in the chute, in the ladder part. See, and we've got an adventure down to there. Now, I think this post was closed in the 1960s and opened in the 1950s. So, opened 1950s, closed in the 60s. So, uh, yeah, and three men would have been down here taking shifts, and down here would have been radio equipment, etc. etc. But now, trying to climb this ladder with one hand is quite dangerous, so I'll see you when I'm down. Alright guys, I just came down from the ladder. And now we are... Yes, look at that, in the room. It is dark, which is why I've got my light on, thankfully, which isn't helping a lot. First things first, here we've got an original old bed, which was down here. Originally it would have been a bunk bed, probably here. Because, uh, of course, there would have been three men down here monitoring, and they would have been taking turns. Uh, taking turns to monitor things, like radio equipment, etc. Here we've got the original um, holders for the table, which would have been on top here. And there's loads of rubbish in here, as you can see. Vandal vandals have come down here and really kind of took over the place. Here we've got like the original door, as you can see. And they have the original hooks on them for the coats. <laughs> old doorknob. Uh, looks like there's been an old vent down there for the door. Uh, loads of graffiti, as you can see, on the walls, which is quite sad. And no, all the equipment has been taken out. So let's point our attention to some bits here. So here is the fixed survey meter, what I was talking about, on the um, roof. Up, up on the um, surface, 
you saw the metal pipe that came out with the flat thing on top. That is this. And basically, um, this, is a, this is original too, this cupboard. It's original, they would have stored their food in there, on cans for canned of food, etc, etc. Um, basically, they would have had a uh, equipment here, and that would have monitored the amount of radiation from above, if there was a, a nuclear attack. Um, they could tell like, the radiation, and that they would be able to give the warning to the HQ, etc, etc. And... Uh, yeah, and here we've got the board, which has got lots of writing on it, which has been vandalism, vandalised. And it would have, would have had radio equipment on here at some point, most probably. And up there, you can see, we've got a light bulb, where there would have been a light. And that would have probably gone across and down to where there would have been a light switch here, eventually. And of course, look at them cobwebs. Um, next we have up here. That is where the bomb power indicator would have been. What I said I was trying to find upstairs by the grass, on the, on the tall grass. There would have been a dial, you can see the um, holes here, a dial on here of an arrow, and basically if there was an explosion on the surface, that would tell the uh, people down here the power of the bomb. And of course by that they'd be able to identify, well, like I said, the power of the bomb, the type of bomb, etc. And of course that has been removed now. Of course, it would have been a pipe that would have gone on and the um, explosion, the heat, the air would have come down the pipe and, of course, made the scale move, which would have told the power. Um, here, we've got the other air vent, as you saw up on the surface, the uh, first air vent, the first thing I showed. And it has all these cobwebs and stuff. Here, it's spotted something cool. We have some... Looks like we have some radio equipment here, or there's a wire there, as you can see. And of course, all the wires, probably would have been power, of course, would there would have been power down here. I um, don't know what these, I think there probably would have been some kind of technician, not technician, radio wires, power wires, etc. And like I said, this is one of the older versions of the uh, bunkers. But it's in good condition, surprisingly. I've seen worse. Actually, that's a lie. I haven't seen worse. This is the first time I've seen one, and I knew what it was. So yeah, the air vent. This thing is massive, as you can see, compared to my hand. It's rusty. Disgusting. Yeah, loads of cobwebs in there. And of course, there's a slidey door. You would have slid it shut. Um, so yeah, and up there we've got a pipe, a hole. That would have probably been fed wires through, etc. It's very echoey down here. So yeah, we've got the old original bed in here, which is really cool. This is the original. And of course, people have sadly moved it. But yeah, this has definitely been here for a good few years. 1950s, I think it was shut. I'll confirm that when I finish recording, just to be sure. I'm going to make a part two, guys. Um, so yeah, um, this is going to be the end of part one. Um, stay tuned for part two.